Welcome to the Printer's Edge podcast presented by the LaMana Consulting Group. Hi, I'm Ken Ockel. Rock LaMana will join us in just a moment. We are continuing this series of special reports about the coronavirus. Today, we're going to be focusing on owners. Rock has been getting a lot of questions from owners about what should they be doing right now. He has four suggestions really related to communicating with various parts of your operation. So tune into that. We are going to continue to put out these special bonus podcast episodes. We really suggest that you subscribe on Apple Podcasts so you don't miss anything. We're also putting up these episodes on YouTube. We'll have a new episode coming out very soon. This one is going to be focused on employees, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, let me toss it over to Rock Lamana. Hello, the printing industry, the printing community. This is Rock Lamana. LaMonta Consulting Group. How's everybody doing? I'm sure there's a lot of action going on. What I wanted to speak about today basically is to the print owners and some of the tips that I've received and experienced over the years, especially in my, my background with turnaround situations and growth situations and so on. And a crisis, this is a crisis. It's not only is it a crisis, it's an emergency throughout the world. So this is something that I like to send uh, four tips basically to print owners that should concentrate on the following. And I basically back this up, but not only my information, but I contacted my father, the founder of Vomella Specialty Company, that we built this great company, an innovative company, he's 94 years old, and I said, Dad, if you're in this situation going way back, what would you do? What's the number one item that you talk about? He says, I would make sure that the people are happy. That the people are happy. What he means is the workforce to make sure that you give them confidence that we will be sustainable. We will continue on and grow our business. So number one, make sure that you have compassion and empathy towards these people. The workforce of today versus 40 years ago, 20 years ago, 20 years ago, 10 years ago, is today family driven. It's about the family. It's about the family. And if your business atmosphere and your culture is family, they're gonna trust you. They're gonna trust you. So once again, number one, communication to your workforce, to the people that really care about your business and will continue being loyal and continue being there available for whatever you lead them to. Number two is going to be your suppliers. You need to have a relationship and communicate to your suppliers. And don't forget, this is not done today face to face. This is done on like we're doing. Technology, Skype, BombBomb, uh, bomb, uh, what's another, uh, uh, Zoom, everything today is virtual. So you have to be technically astute and at least involved with how to communicate to people because people are calling me today and this is the way we get back to them because they want to know that you really care about them. So once again, suppliers have to understand your situation. What if you don't have terms? If you don't have terms, they're not gonna have supplies for you. So make sure that your relationship is solid, that you're in a good position with your suppliers, that your suppliers have the supplies that you need to be able to take the next step in communication. And this is number three, your clients. Be prepared to talk to your clients about what is happening. There's some great examples out there. In fact, one of my clients got back to me that his business has grown over the last 30 days because of a supply chain issue that one of their suppliers of their clients, one of their competitors, was shutting down for three weeks. Well, the client needed a backup. So they basically made sure that they could keep that promise by talking to other people to make sure that they can receive this surge and deliver the goods on time and an issue. Now, the fourth 
area is very hard to talk about today, but it's a must for business owners. And that is your banking relationship. Making sure that you have the available funds to be sustainable to basically carry through this crisis. We don't know how long it's gonna be, but we all measure our uh, uh, future with cash flow. Well, you better have a backup today because we don't know what's gonna happen and how our clients are actually gonna ask for relief themselves. So there's a lot going on there and the message today, these print, the print industry, the owners of the industry is communication. That's the number one. And those communications is those four issues and four areas of your workforce from the bottom up, okay? And you as the leader needs to be the shepherd and confident and have a plan that you're gonna make it through this situation. Number two, your suppliers are as loyal as you have been, okay? You have to have the suppliers and make sure that you've picked the right suppliers, that they are there and that they're loyal and they're gonna carry on in good times and bad. And number three, basics is your customers. Are you diversifying? Are you really looking at their markets? What's happening to them? Where are they going? Are they sustainable? Or have you picked the wrong customers? If you are basically concentrated with too much business with one client, you're gonna to have to be very careful, very careful. And even if it's a good segment like labels or packaging and growth, you have to always have a backup. You always have to have a backup and that means a strategic partner, even against and with your customer base. All right, you have to accept that. There's gonna be more teams than you. And then third, or excuse me, fourth is your banking relationship. You have to have a great banking relationships. And if you don't, you better start now. And all this is gonna be taking place on video. It's gonna be on video, it's gonna be on some type of communication because it's not gonna be a face-to-face, -face, but you have to look at your history, you have to look at the current situation, and you have to look at the future, even though it's very uncertain and very fearful you have to have a strategic plan. So I hope everybody picked up from this. I hope it's an, an informational. If you have any questions, like I've been receiving more and more phone calls from all over the world about what is going on. Because don't forget, in Europe, the borders are closing. All right? We're having curfews now in the United States. There's a lot going on and there's a lot of uncertainty. So once again, Learn how to communicate. You have to learn. You have to be sympathetic. You have to be empathetic. And you have to be compassionate because there's a lot of people in really desperate situations and they are looking at their own family situations. It's not the business. You as a business owner, you have the family, your own family, but you also have a business to take care of. And that's an additional part of your extended family. But don't forget, we're all in this together. So God bless. I'll see you in the marketplace. You can track me down at rocklamana, R-O-C-K-L-A-M-A-N-N-A.com. I'm here. I have a great team on call, around the clock, around the world, looking to help you succeed and get through this crisis. God bless. Be safe and be well.